Today we're going to assemble a Woodstock water bell fountain and hopefully answer any questions that you might have about how to do that. We've opened the box and taken out all of the parts and first we're going to review what each of the uh, parts are. Over here we have the six bell stationary assembly that sits in the center of the bowl. Here are two small bells with hex holes in them and here are the two floating bells. This is the flow diverter and output hose, the transformer for the pump, and of course this is the copper bowl that has the pump here in the middle. The first thing we want to do before we assemble is take this assembly here, this uh, plastic part that has the six bells that are permanently attached to it. The first thing you want to do is make sure that all six bells are tight. Sometimes in shipping they'll loosen and all you need to do is screw each one clockwise and make sure that they're that they're tightly affixed to this plate. Next take a look at the pump and make sure that the flow control switch or lever is in the far left position toward the positive sign. This will ensure that you get maximum flow from the pump. Grab the bell assembly and take this piece here which is already pre-assembled with the hose to, uh, connected to the uh, flow diverter. Insert that through this hole so it looks like this. Next place this diverter through the center hole. Perhaps the most important thing to remember when you're assembling this is that the, the three legs on this piece need to sit exactly in the proper position in the bowl. You'll note that there are three indentations in the bottom of the bowl. There's only one position that this will fit properly where each foot each one of these brass feet is in one of the indentations. So determine which position works for you with your bowl and once you've found that you take this piece and push the flow diverter into the top of the pump. Now sometimes this is a little difficult to do because it's a very snug fit but once you get it it should be pretty tight now the pump is attached to the flow diverter. Place this assembly into the bowl. Be sure the legs are all in one of the indentations in the bottom of the bowl. And then push down and the suction cups on the bottom of the pump will keep it in position. Once that's done, make sure that this piece here is pointing toward the front of the fountain. This is where water will be flowing and, and causing your floating bells to turn and float around the perimeter of the bowl. Now take these two bells that have the hex holes in them. Take the larger bell, put that on first, push that down, and then place the smaller bell on the top. We've now put water into the copper bowl. In order for the fountain to function properly, the water level is very important. The stationary bell and the floating bell should be at about the same level. The top rim of the bell should be similar. So place both bells into the fountain. You'll want to be sure that the fountain is on a level surface. If it's very level, the bells will not catch up with each other and will randomly strike the bells. One of the features of the fountain is that by turning this assembly here, you can increase the amount of water flow coming out of the top, which you'll see will slow down the bells. You'll get more water sound, more water flowing up through the top and less through the diverter in the bowl. 
continue to turn this clockwise and you'll see you'll get less water flowing from the top and the bells will speed up again. So now we have less water flowing here and more water flowing in the bowl causing the bells to go faster. One reminder is that the fountain is for indoor use. You should not plug the transformer into an outdoor outlet. Often we hear from people that they place a votive candle, candle into one of the bells. It's also very pretty to put flower petals in there. Do avoid putting stones or anything into the bowl itself as that will restrict the water flow and cause the bells not to float around the bowl. It's also a good idea to use distilled water with any pump that will make the pump last longer and will keep the bowl and the bells cleaner. If you do start getting uh, a vertigree or buildup on the bowl or the bells, both can be cleaned with a brass or metal cleaner.